Other interesting cultural news, you have Elon Musk apparently saved Amber Heard from being fired from Aquaman. And allegedly, some of the stars wanted to push her out. Now, this is according to the Daily Mail. And it looks like Elon Musk actually sent a scorching earth letter threatening to burn the house down if she was not in the sequel. Now, apparently this is when Elon was dating her, which actually goes to show no one is perfect. Again, I don't know how crazy you have to be to actually voluntarily date Amber Heard, who subsequently has been found to be one of the most mentally and morally vacuous people in the world. And perhaps is accredited to one of the biggest signs of why many people do not believe all women, which is a weird statement in and of itself, suggesting that all men are lying. But nevertheless, she was the one who famously abused Johnny Depp, physically as well as I suppose mentally. And cover your ears if you have children listening, she defecated in the bed, apparently. Which, again, you can buy... What is, this? what is the old saying? Money can buy a lot of things, but it can't buy class. And she certainly is the ass of class, some might say. Now, it looks like she, she will apparently return as Mira in Aquaman in Lost Kingdom, set to release in December 20th, 2023, after previously claiming during her highly publicized court with Giant Death that she fought really hard to stay in the movie and they didn't want to include me. And they were threatening to cut her scenes, which would actually make the movie watchable. It's one of those fascinating things where I feel like there's certain films and movies and TV shows where if you could just remove one character, it'd be a lot better. Like, imagine if you had suits without that. What is that? Is that was that Megan? Was Megan Markle in that? I think she was. And she is one of the definitions of insufferable. Was she? Yeah, so she played Rachel. So if you could have suits, but remove her. And I don't know how much Photoshop energy this would take or how much editing software it would take or man hours. But I can't help but think that box set of the suits film or I guess show would increase by at least maybe 18% in value. I'd be willing to pay 18% more if that could be a thing. But nevertheless, when it comes to Amber Heard, apparently, yeah, I was going to say Elon. So he, you think he's perfect? No, he... He actually voluntarily dated her, and subsequently she's been found to be crazy to say the least, even physically abusing people, and then filing false accusations. And thankfully, Johnny Depp actually won that lawsuit. Now, it looks like... So Giant De or, uh, Elon Musk sent the letter to Warner Brothers, and they allegedly backed down and kept Amber Heard on the film. It looks like Musk for... First met Amber Heard in 2012 when she was an actress and shooting some film in L.A. And they dated for around 12 months, 2017, 2018. So it'll be interesting to see. I don't know, a lot of these, what used to be blockbuster films have just dropped precipitously in, I was going to say, general interest as people are trying to tighten their belts, financially speaking. A feat in and of itself in the United States since the belts are quite large. But let me know in the comments. Will you, will you not see the movie because she's in it? How many people might not tune in just because of her personality or her life outside of films? It's one of those fascinating things where there are certain careers where what your life outside of the actual engagement is for your daily job, there's a high correlation between appropriateness or a lot of people, there's more people who care about it. So it'll be interesting to see, would you boycott that film just because she's in it? Or would you see it because she is? It'd be interesting to see how that film does, but I can't help but think, I would, I would venture to say the outlook is not so good. It'll be interesting to see. Time shall tell. Thank you again for taking the time to tune in today. Cannot thank you enough. I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of October, so if you can click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Any suggestions to make the show better are always welcome to the comments section. I might take a day or two to get to them depending on my work schedule, but I always try to do my best to address all the comments. I appreciate the critique to make the show better. Also, lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.